That clock keeps ticking like a metronome And my thoughts keep telling me to get me home But my balls keep telling me to let me oh Oh, just let me oh That clock keeps ticking like a metronome And my thoughts keep telling me to get me home But my balls keep telling me to let me oh Oh, just let me oh That clock keeps ticking like a metronome And my thoughts keep telling me to get me home But my balls keep telling me to let me oh Fuck all that shit, just let me go Yeah, I'm playing this live part of your It is the most badass you do bro I'm Tommy D, this is Shop and a Boy the original drama cast for yes. Maddie. Yo, what's up? I don't know anything about this guy other than he's insufferable and he's, I guess, he appears, I'm going to say appears, big air quotes there, uh, to be suing or attempting to sue or intimidate more than likely. Um, uh, Chud Logic. So I don't really know much more about that. I've probably forgotten more than I know about him. I, I'm sure I've been told about him by Nick a million times. All I know is he doesn't like reaction channels. That's all. Mm. That's what I... React. I mean, he fucking uses other people's... And he's another guy who's used Can other other content to get famous. I'm homesick from work. Finally get to catch you live. Make it nice. All right. All right. Since we don't have any like hard times anymore... This is actually working a lot better for me. Hey, listen, I'll let you know what's coming up uh, next couple days. Um, tomorrow, might, uh, d depending on the way things are, I'm feeling, I'll uh, probably be looking to a game stream uh, in the normal slot uh, to finish it up if we do one at all. So that tomorrow's up in the air as far as the show. This Sunday, Lockout Live, and you know I don't promote Lockout Live all that often. I'll talk about it, but I don't promote it. Shoe Nice made an appearance. Um, easily the most retarded person on the internet. Um, and if you ever wanted that that car crash, plane crash, trash fire, we got it. So make sure you check. I mean, it is amazing. I know Boogie's really happy with it. Uh, he was so retarded that we couldn't actually get... Uh... Oh, and then Wings is retarded too because he didn't check if he had a computer. He did everything through the phone, so we had to record in a different way. Um, but the fact is a little lo-fi... Thanks so much. Uh, I do appreciate that, little manly. You're the man, and and uh, Patreon too. Go get your rank on the server. Um, he the, the wings didn't even bother to check the um, uh, whether he had a computer or not. Turns out he has a phone. He told us, "Yeah, I could do the OBS thing and record and do this." He had no idea what he's doing. Wings checked none of that. <laughs> At one point, because he was in what you call it mode. Uh, at one point, and he said he was recording in portrait mode, and Boogie C told him if he could get it in the other. I forget the uh, resolution. <laughs> he physically turned the camera. <laughs> That's one way to do it. It was, <laughs> it was really funny. He did, he did something like this. Hang on. Uh, that unfortunately, the reason I'm telling you about that is because unfortunately that did not get recorded. Um, and that's oh, when I, I, I knew, I oh, that, it. that part, that's why I'm sorry to tell so it's, it's kind of like he did, uh, not quite that, um, more like this, uh, no, that's not it either, uh, yeah, like this, he just turned it like that, <laughs> like physically, it's too <laughs> funny, so, um, definitely check out Look Out Live, if you're in some, for some reason, I'm pretty sure all you are, um, Dark Viper AU sucks, yeah, he seems insufferable. I can't remember what he did with um, that other guy, uh, Apollo Legend. The guy killed himself. I remember him being involved he, um, in that somewhere. In, in, in some uh, way. He got named in the fucking doc or something. Yeah. Now, he, sounds, he, he, he sounds like he's half woke or he uses the woke language and a woke yeah. audience to serve his needs. And he essentially is just a streamer that does stuff on GTA. I mean, just typical YouTuber type insufferable and thinks he's way more important than he actually is um this happened remember when dark viper filed a dmca against me last year reacting to one of his videos and got knocked back by youtube well he hired a lawyer to file on his behalf he also messed up here's what i wonder about that like uh is he suing him in, in england or australia hmm. i'm not sure that's a lot of money 
She's in Australia. Yeah, I always wondered, like, somebody sues you in Australia, you just tell them to fuck off. <laughs> you know, I'm not yeah. going there. <laughs> it's the other side of the world. Uh, also messed up the DMCA. Uh, had to go backwards and forwards with YouTube for months to finally get it through. As a part of their current sponsors, his lawyer, probably Doc, uh, Dark Viper's request, demanded YouTube keep the emails private because they were worried that I'd make content out of it and defame him. <laughs> uh, they alluded to taking legal action against both me and YouTube. That's how you know it's bullshit. He don't got that kind of scratch. Uh, if they pass it on to me. Well, the good news is I have a full email chain. I'll be going over it and stream tomorrow. Now, unfortunately, I meant I meant to do it, but there was just too much going on. I had a doctor. I had stitches taken out of my back. Um, oh, Chud actually hit me up. Does he want to play? Uh, hey, man, I'm sure you show him a shit in dark money. If you want to talk about it, we can. Can you come in? Okay, buddy. You come in now? Let's see if he if if Chud wants to come in because I, I I don't know the laws I I I would like a synopsis um, I did not get the check I usually Chud's actually because it's it's great because he's in kind of just only one time zone over I I do he's like my radio show now like for back in the old yeah. days keep it on the back it's fucking fantastic you know I just, I don't know how he does it as long as he does um so usually I take in at least a half an hour a day but today was one of those days where I was trying to do it, but I couldn't. And there was what? There was football. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> it was friendly games <laughs> on my time in the afternoon. Um, so that was another problem. Uh, let's see. Uh, sure. He said sure. So guess what? We're getting an episode with Chud Logic. Put some ones in the chat. Show some little fucking love. Let's go. Let's, let's, let's go. Chud's always a really good time. And then uh, we'll go over his. Uh, I guess he's got a problem with Ethan Klein as well. Um. I guess he's going to sue him, too. Good luck with that. That guy's a multimillionaire. I think he's... I, 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 he is worth, like, tens of millions of dollars, I think. If not more. Yeah. Yeah, like, good luck with that. Good luck with that, you, you egomaniac. Um, he, he's been taking a lot of Ws lately and, and being a lot more reasonable. Hmm. It's funny when you're Jewish and you find out where you really stand with the liberals. Hmm. At the bottom of the pile. You're only good to be used. You're only good to be sure. used. You're only good for Nazi memes. What's up, Chud? Chud, logic, everybody. How are you doing? Good, thanks. How are you? Uh, can you give me a synopsis of what, what, like, what became of this? I did not get to listen to your show today. I'm a, it's become a habit, but today just didn't work out. Uh, can you give me a synopsis of the lawsuit? Or I, I don't believe this, by the way. I'm not buying any of it, personally. I don't know if you can say that, but I am. But go ahead. Sure. So basically, obviously, uh, Dark Viper filed a DMCA against me last year, late last year, November time. Um, because I reacted that. to his nine and a half minute stream segment he put onto YouTube. And it was like a 34 minute react video. And mm -hmm. um, he filed a DMCA, which, hey, look, at the end of the day, I thought it was a very petty move on his part. Mm -hmm. um, when I think the kind of general consensus is like, yeah, that would be kind of fair commentary and whatever. But so be it. Anyway, it got knocked back by YouTube. Um, because they, you know, you know, there's a message and it basically says, we believe this is protected by fair dealing. Yeah. They're not making a legal assessment on it. They're just basically saying, you've not filled out the form correctly to make us think that? that you are filing a legitimate claim. Mm -hmm. Um, which is quite funny because obviously he's the fucking, oh yeah, I know all about this stuff and react content is bad. And you know, he couldn't even fill out a DMCA correctly. So anyway, that was it. And the drama kind of dissipated after a week or so. Um, and then the other day, a couple of days ago, I got a, a copyright strike on my channel. And it was from these videos yeah. and I'd gotten an email with all of the correspondence and basically Dark Viper at the time hired a lawyer, like in the weeks after that, he hired a lawyer to fight to, you know, presumably pursue some sort of legal thing. Yeah. And this lawyer submitted a DMCA request themselves to YouTube, which mm. then ended up in my hands. Mm -hmm. And they made some weird arguments about how Australian law would apply. You know, obviously I don't know what the fucking and block it in Australia exactly. and block it in Australia. If that were applies, that would be funny. <laughs> um, well, the, the, the main thing the main reason i wanted to kind of talk about it is because sure. i'm you know obviously i responding to a dmca is starting a legal process so i'm not sure exactly i'm, I'm kind of on on the side of like just eating the copyright Eat. strike because sure. it drops off in three months but like the funny part about it was in the course of this correspondence the lawyer had written in there please don't give this information to chud logic me because he's going to use it to make more <laughs> that doesn't mean he's like, not a lawyer he doesn't have a lawyer that's what it tells me. See, somebody, I, I think uh, Gemini wrote this. I, 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 like, you would, really? you would be, uh, yeah, because, like, I, I, look, I'm going by what I know. Just, 
this would be a part of discovery. I mean, like, like in, a se- in a sense, discovery, because you're entitled to know what he's suing for. You're entitled to know what he's doing. Please don't give this to John Logic or what? Or else, what? So I guess YouTube took it seriously because they, they did give you a strike or something that's pending. Well, to, to a degree, because they sent that through and it took them months of badgering YouTube to mm-hmm. eventually get YouTube to take it down because yeah. they kept kicking it back saying, you know, we don't believe that all the content you've listed falls under, we think it maybe falls under fair dealing, mm-hmm. to paraphrase. So we're yeah. not going to take it down. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I don't, I've looked up the law firm. It seems like they've got like a website. Mm-hmm. Obviously, I can't check if this person on the email is, uh, is named there, but it seems to be above board. And at one point, Dark Viper even interjects towards the end when nothing seems to be happening and says, can we get an update on this? Can you notify me on my legal representation? Because there's been no update. So he was like actively pursuing it, you know, months after. Clearly very bothered about the fact this video was still up. Yeah. So. Do you, do yeah. you have a copy of those uh, videos? Probably somewhere. What, the one that, well, you, should, you know what you the- should do if you lose, you just send them to an American. And have them uploaded to an American <laughs> channel. And then that's the end of that shit. Go sue them twice. Yeah, you know, that's that's what I would do. I I, I would uh, if you if you bite the bullet, make sure this thing's up. I'll put it up in Germany. He's making suit Germany and America at the same time. And apparently, he's made of money. You know, I'd be happy to put it up for a protest. Um, I don't give a shit about. <laughs> well, Australia. I, don't give, I, don't give, I don't give a fucking rat's ass about Australian law. Fuck Australian law. Fuck Australia. You know, what do I care? <laughs> no, fuck Australia. But you know what I mean. Um, yeah, yeah. Protest. Like, like. All right, you got to take it down. Everybody else has it. Now what? <laughs> we gonna sue everybody? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here! Um, <laughs> you know. I mean, listen. I, I feel like you kind of just agree with me anyway on this, but like, mm. I've just played devil's advocate for his side, so to speak. But like, <laughs> it's little, the, the argument is that's made mm. is that well, I'm putting up a video, but mm. I'm recreating his original video in my video because I play the whole nine and a half minutes of his stream content, right? Mm-hmm. So, and you never what, pause at any that? time and and comment on it, or you just watched it. Well, no, of course, I pause and comment a lot, but the two points they make is, well, you're recreating the original work and also you're just giving, and this is in the document, they say, you know, you're supposed to give, cri- you can't just give criticism for criticism's sake. That's how they refer to it. So, Under, okay. Well, what are the, what are, what are the, what are the reasons would you criticize unless it's for <laughs> criticism's sake? <laughs> that makes it sound like it's not a lawyer. That doesn't sound very sophisticated. Maybe you should get this to... Um... Uh, it'd be interesting if you could get in a phone call, talk to Muda, get in a phone call with, uh, uh, Carl Jobst. Uh, see if the Australian law really applies Listen, like you think look, it does. Yeah. I've obviously spoken to people behind the Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Because, okay. you know, to get their advice, right? To, sure. you know, because I'm very much of the opinion I don't like playing silly buggers. Like, I just like to get advice if I need advice and sure, see sure. what people think. But if I'm going to put my content out and if people want to look at it and talk about it, then that's up to them. Mm-hmm. Because I don't want it to feel like I'm kind of forcing a narrative of my side because... You know, Why not? This other side. Why not? Well, because you know, I think people can people should look at it and come to their own conclusions about it. You know, I'm not looking to. I'm obviously going to give my side of the story, sure. but I don't want it to feel like I'm going to people and being like, "Well, no, this is what the story is." So say that. You're in a it's battle. Like, you know, this you're, is you're what in I a think. battle. Like you should. Like he would do it to you. You're in a battle. Use use your tools. Yeah, but part of that is me saying what's what, and then people could decide. I'm not going to badger people to be on my side in this. You know, I'm kind of just like. Oh well, no, it's up to them to, to be on your side or not, or take it not take it up or not. I don't think there's there's anything. I don't think it's even badgering. Badgering was. Could you please? Could you please retweet this? Could you please? Yeah, I've gotten that before too, and that can be annoying depending on the situation. But I usually tell people like I'm not tweeting it, and here's why. You know, I'm not no, sure. I'm but not the, doing but the point I'm making is I'm I'm not I'm not looking to like you know, do funny business behind the scenes to get positive I don't coverage think it's funny of me. It's just, I don't think that's funny business. Find, find, no, no, sure, sure. Yeah. Like, like I say, I have spoken to people. It's not like I'm spoken to. Yeah, people, yeah, yeah. yeah. Have, what, you can, know, can you give me a yeah. synopsis of, of what they're saying to you? The people that uh, maybe you trust. Well, the, the, you know, the reason, the main reason I think I've decided to kind of just tank the copyright strike is because people are like, well, this guy's obsessed with this argument he's got that React content is bad, mm-hmm. and he's exactly the kind of person that would take things forward. And you know, it's just not worth getting into a legal quagmire with someone like that. Because he's got mm. more money than me, yeah. um, it's my time as well. Mm-hmm. And uh, the other thing as well for me personally is I'd have to fundraise to get money for. Oh any shit! A lawsuit. Let's, let's go. go. Oh Jesus! Don't tell D Max. <laughs> <laughs> He'll fuck you. He'll get you. Another lawsuit. Oh Jesus. Well, well, well I mean, but that's. But I mean, that you know, I would be totally. I mean, it'd be totally legit with criticism to say you're fundraising for something that probably isn't really worth fighting, really, because it's a 10k view video months ago that's gone down. 
It's no, a right structure. It's, a prin- it's, it's a principle to protect fair use. I, I disagree with that completely, entirely. Um, I mean, if you want to support well, this, you know, you, I mean, if you well, want, you want to give Australian, someone else's right. you want to give Australian YouTubers the right to shut uh, shut down any kind of criticism. Yeah, I mean, I mean that's like, a bit crazy yeah. to put that on my shoulders. Like, yeah, know, oh no, I'm not saying take it up, but that, those are, I'm giving you reasons to fight it. I'm not giving you reasons. Uh, I'm not. If you don't want to do it, that's one thing. But th- that would be the reason to, to send you. I'd send you money. I, I'd send you the money that I didn't. That that got sent back to me by Dmax. I got an extra two hundred bucks. Sure. Well, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'll do it. No, no, I'll I appreciate. It. I appreciate yeah. your passion. My way of fighting this. I'll push it. I'll push facts. it. I'll stream about it. I'll. Pu- I, I'll. Yeah, sure. I think you'd be surprised how much. Uh, um, support you would get um and i don't think there's anything particularly wrong with that because the only reason you're gonna be able to start to stop these nazis from taking your content down uh because they have a feeling about something or they think they're above it and really let, let's face it, it it's designed to uh, to to stifle criticism which is stifling free speech which is worth fighting for now i can understand if you individually can't it's not worth it for you but i i, I don't think there's anything wrong with asking in those circumstances too many people have done it um, like Dankula's has done it for his court cases and stuff like that. He could have tapped out and paid the 200 bucks. No, it's a the principle there. So I, I personally don't believe in, you can do what you want, that, that it's, it's definitely worth it. Oh, no, no, but wait, wait, but hang on, hang on. Right. With Dankula, he had to answer a case from the fucking government. He had yeah. no choice. He couldn't just tap out. He had to answer. No, he could have. He could have paid the fine. No, he could have paid the fine. That's no, absurd. he did pay the fine. No, he didn't. They took it from him. They seized what? it from him. Wait, they see, sorry, they see, no, yeah, yeah, they seized the money. What happened is he, when he got convicted, he did not pay the fine, right? And the reason he paid the fine, he was daring them to arrest him. And uh, I happen to know a little bit about this. Um, um, they did, and, and, and also he was raising money to take it to the European Court uh, of Appeals, too. That's a different story. But no, he didn't pay the fine, right? And uh, the Scottish government illegally went in, seized his money from the bank account. It was only about 200 bucks or something like that. And didn't notify him. They didn't notify him. So his wife is doing uh, the numbers. We're missing two hundred bucks, right? And then they found out. They found out that it was it, it was the government. So the government was supposed to arrest him, but they just seized it and illegally too, because you have to notify him for a seizure. They, I don't think they even got approval from a judge to seize. I mean, the thing is, is I he could have. Ta- my well point is, he could have paid that, and then it's over. He, he would people like uh, certain uh, you know, a lot of lefties out there were encouraging him to do it. He didn't do it. They had to take it from him. And, and I mean, the on the is, sneak, I, too, okay. because they didn't want him to be getting any more politically powerful than he already was. So they just steal the money and said he paid it. He didn't pay it. He never paid it. They, they took it. So I, I, well, the I, thing I, is, yeah. is, but the thing is, is you know, I, I appreciate that. But like, yeah. how much did he fundraise? 187,000 That was pounds. for the European Court of uh, Appeals. And I think that's worth it, especially I live in Europe. I've been victimized by uh, the European Union. I mean, yeah, but, but then, but then yeah. uh, you know, I think when you're fighting the government, um, I mean, I just, I just don't think these are comparable situations. You know, you're, you're fighting the government against what you see as very erroneous erosion. What's the difference if the government could do it to you and somebody just... like, um, like this jackass that lives in another fucking country can silence you? What's the difference? But I'm not silenced. Yeah, at all. in a sense it, you are. If you take that down, you've been silenced. Well, no, because all of my other videos, which are currently privated just to be on the safe side, but we're going to put them back up when sure. this blows over. Okay. But, you know, and I've also gone over the DMCA on stream, despite the fact he was trying to claim there was some sort of defamation case. Yeah. Like, I just feel like people have been very foolhardy about this mm. for my time and my money. Like, it's very well sitting there going, yeah, go on. I'll give you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I'm, I'm saying if you don't want to, I don't hold anything against you. What I'm telling you is there is value in fighting. That's my argument. I'm not saying if you can't do it, you can't do it. And I respect that. You got kids. You got all sorts of other. I'm saying you're like you were kind of telling me there's no value. Just let it go. No, I don't believe that. I, I, I'm sorry, I don't. I think that's worth fighting. Can you do it? That's not, up to okay. you. Okay, yeah. letting it go. Letting it go would be just not talking about it and ignoring it and just disregarding it and letting. Yeah, at you least know, you're making over. content out of it. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I mean, getting some out. Of my 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 view on fighting it is you know it's foolhardy to put money and time into you know defending a DMCA going to court over it when he probably will take it that far when i can just make content about it and criticize him for it and just take the hit on the you know that yeah, might my way of fighting it and, bring it it and, and that's you but and my argument is if you decided to do the foolhardy thing i think that's uh, that, that's got value too it's 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 not a sacrifice you might maybe you shouldn't make but i don't think that's foolhardy i don't i i, I really don't um it might not be good for you it would be a hell of a sacrifice um, but it, it, it might, it, it might be too much too. And I, I, like, I respect your decision either way, but I don't think there's one bad and one good option here. I think, um, there's just, what, what are you, what are you willing to pay? 
what do you you know what are you willing to give up if it's too much then that's the end of it but if you're willing to go for it i support it um completely and i think others would support it just like magnetar and uh you'd have to end it because uh, d max told you that, that you're scamming everybody <laughs> Which, by the way, would happen. People were saying you were scamming them. But I don't believe that. I think that's that's worth fighting for. It's something I'm willing to donate into. Okay, buddy. Th those are things that I. So I, I think either decision you make um, is is perfectly honorable to you know, make more content on it. But I, I don't think it's just, I don't think, I, I think it's, um, I think it's good either way. You know, whatever you decide to do. I, I, I think free speech is always worth fighting for. You know, shit, I, I'm enjoying the army. Yeah. I'm going to kill for it. You know, <laughs> I kind of see where Chad's coming from. This just I, I, I do he, straight. I, it sounds like I don't, and I'm saying I, I, I hope people aren't getting the yeah, no, no, no. I get that what I'm you're saying, saying like, you're saying. oh, you're a pussy if you don't do this. You got to suck. No, I don't know your situation. I, I have not, like this guy's got tons of money. There's no doubt about it. What I'm saying is the crazy thing to do is honorable as well. That's what I'm saying. That's it. That's all I'm saying. Whatever you decide I want to do. Him off Matt, <laughs> Matt's not his yeah. yeah, no, he's had, it sounds like it'd just be way too much stress for a fucking schizo in Australia. I don't mm. know. That, that, that would, I wouldn't do it. That's just me, though. I'd just make content out of it. And that's fine. And that, that, might, be the, that might be the better move. But I think it's, uh, both, both decisions are just as honorable. That's, that's all I'm saying. I don't think one's bad and one's good. I think one might cost more, might, might fuck your life up, but I still think it's honorable. That's, that's just how I feel. You know? That's all. You know? No worries. I mean, mm -hmm. in terms of, um, I mean, one thing I'm interested in getting your thoughts on yeah. is, uh, like, what's your thoughts on kind of his action of, of kind of alluding to more legal consequence? He's a Nazi. For both That's myself and <laughs> <He's> <laughs> like, <laughs> like, You're not going to get much to me. I think he's no fucking good. I think he's a goddamn, I, I think he's a goddamn, um, probably would be authoritarian. I, I, I you know, and a, a totalitarian. You know, he's, he's a concentration camp guard. How about that? I, I think people that don't in the West that don't honor free speech and stuff <laughs> like that. You asked. That's what I think. <laughs> I think he's a horrible human being. I think I think if you do stuff like this, whether you're the government or an individual, you are a horrible human being. You know, I I think you're one of these people that, you know, it's free speech for me, not for thee. So I, I think that makes you authoritarian like. And that's the worst people you can run into. He's a concentration camp card. How about that? I suppose it's a horrible thing I could think to say. I mean it. I do. I, I mean it. I mean it. He'd lead the kids in the oven. No problem. Hey. Bro, I can't answer. He would. That's the character. That's the kind of characters led. Dumb people that thought they were smart, they were self righteous. That's who led the kids in the oven. That's who those guys were. And that's that's him to me. That's the that's the kind of character traits they had. Nobody see okay, the people well, that listen, don't stand up. A... Here you go. I've got a different perspective on this, but I appreciate and respect your right to state yours, honestly. Mm. Yeah, I, like, you can call me nuts. That's the way I feel. I, I think they're the fucking worst. The fucking worst. I can't stand them. I can't stand people like him. I think they're disgusting concentration camp guards. You know? Stupid. Sure, but then the, the, the stupid, goes. Think they're smart um, and willing to uh, uh, suppress others. That's that's a concentration. That he's that 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 is what a concentration camp guards. He is all those three things. Would he march kids to an oven? Fuck if I know. Maybe the situation was right. He's already got the fucking emotional profile for it. That's what I'm saying. So there you go. <laughs> you know. Okay. Well, listen, thanks for your, your, your argument, argument in the direction. Okay. Would would Hitler have filed a copyright strike against someone? Sure. Sure. <laughs> no, no, no. And I'll tell you exactly why. I'll tell you. I'll, I'll tell you exactly why. Because the ends always justify the means. And if it's silencing opposition, the opposition is in your way. Then do it. I mean, shit, he fucking killed people um, just to silence them, Germans and Jews alike. Anybody he saw in his way. Sure. Sure. Of course he would. Any, anything. If you, have the, if you have the political clout to do that, he would do it. If you had the uh, political clout to kill a bunch of people, he would. He did. You know, sure. Sure. I think, that, I think those people fall in that category. It's a character trait. Now, not everybody has a character trait that's going to do something that um, horrible, but, you know, the circumstances were just ripe for people like that to be um, do the horrible things. And they end up at an end of a rope like they belonged. There you go. Okay, dude. Okay, chill out, dude. They did. Oh, they killed all those people. They're all in Nuremberg. All hanging. Okay, Women, too. Can we just, can we just separate out a little bit? The difference between Nazis who systematically killed millions of people. I said it. You didn't listen to what I said. I said it's a character trait that's similar. That's why I hate him. 
That's the the character trait's the same. Whether he would do the same extreme thing is irrelevant. The character trait is the same. We want to oppress and silence for any means necessary. That's the same trait those people had. There you go. I would just say that, you know, the kind of element of like wanting to protect your copyright. Stop saying everyone is a Nazi, you hypocritical fuck. No, but I guess Kevils is a Nazi. So are you. How about that? You know, I will say this, uh, you know, Tommy C's record's been pretty good. I think we're going to catch one day fucking Dark Viper doing a Roman salute at a fucking <laughs> white supremacist rally sometime soon. <laughs> I will. I, I, anybody can. I, I always call people uh, Nazis and want to silence other people. Sure. Yeah, I think that falls. I think that falls in. I know like uh, Ben Shapiro wouldn't appreciate that. That's a little too extreme. Apparently Chud does too. I don't care. I don't believe every rape victim. And you're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to say, wow, well, you know, hey, you know, like she sounds credible, even though she doesn't. Doesn't have a witness, doesn't have anything. I don't do that. I, I, I don't do that. Is You're it retarded, fair to say Tommy. you're going gorilla mode right now? You don't know what a Nazi <laughs> is. What is a Nazi, huh? There we go. Call in, I'll fuck okay, you up. sure. I mean, you know, obviously <laughs> it, is, uh, is, it is frustrating that this guy is uh, such a wretched little freak. Yeah, um, exactly. I, do, I don't understand, but... Like, not, like a Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> They're wretched freaks. Anyway, listen, listen. Okay, buddy. Thank you very much for speaking on this issue. All right, um, we'll do. Any other questions before we go? Um, no, I don't think so. I, I let me think. Uh, no, I, I want to see how the whole thing unfolds. Free speech to Tommy can call everybody Nazi. There you go. And people can judge me whether it's ridiculous or not. Guess what? I'm still saying it. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, thanks for your comments, and I'll catch you later. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, maybe nobody will think I'm a sophisticated bread tuber. Oh well. Uh, <laughs> Lucifer says screaming over people and ranting equals wins in the brain dead brain, de brain dead commentary community. Lucifer, why are you still watching? <laughs> you've been you're Red Hood, bro. You've been around for a while. Mm. Screaming, screaming over people. I didn't scream over him. That's the way I feel. This is my show. I can do what I want. Oh no, that's Red Hood. You, he's mad because you screamed over him once on a stage uh, back in the day, a few years ago. Get over it, Nazi. I <laughs> 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 screamed. What, 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 what pissed? What pissed me off about him? Usually, you have to piss me off to give me a yell like. That. Uh, I was interviewing him for a stage, uh, and I can't remember the context of it. But yeah. you just came in and you just fucking, fucking just let it go. And like, he was obviously kind of retarded. He didn't. Oh, really he's know retarded. What to say. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Well, I'm not a Nazi. Uh, I don't think you should be put in a camp, <laughs> even though you're so retarded. What I'm, what I'm seeing from the chat, and you probably already read this out, but uh, their their point being is that, like, you know, a bunch of people left us on Twitter call people Nazis all the time. What's the difference between them calling someone a Nazi and you calling Dark Viper a Nazi? Probably not much, but here's the thing. I think when you do th oppressive stuff like free speech, I think that falls. I think that falls better in line rather than you think differently than me. Um, yeah. your, uh, uh, you have a different political view or something like that. If somebody calls it a right winger or a Nazi that wants to, that has those traits that I mentioned the Dark Viper had, I don't fucking have a problem with that, sure. Okay. No problem at all. You know, you, you like, like these dopes think if there was ever a civil war, people would be wearing br blue and gray. These dopes think yeah. that, you know, if somebody's a Nazi, they have like a, a swastika and they, you know, salute Hitler at night. It's not that simple. And, and, and the thing, it's the trait. It's not the, um, the actual belief. I think Kevin's is a Nazi, sure, because she has those. She has she has those beliefs. She's she willing to use intimidation. She's willing to shut people down. She's willing to silence people. Yeah, I think they're a Nazi, sure. And show me somebody else like that in the right. I'll tell you the same thing. Yeah. And they they they, they show me. Yeah, show me something. Else. Sure. So, so the, there you go. Yeah. That's how I feel. That's how I feel. I, you know. I think the frustration. I, yeah, is I'm like not a political commentator. If you're coming here for some kind of fucking insight, no, I don't like them. I don't sit there and tell you who to vote for. I don't tell you about good government. I don't fucking lie to you and pretend you I know something I don't. I just tell you from my perspective what I don't like, and I don't like authoritarians. I call them Nazis. I think that's an authoritarian trait to silence somebody. There you go. Don't like my language. So what? You know, that's thing. Well, I don't like that word, but you could say the, the F slur or the retard or whatever. And that's okay. You just pick your fucking like, your ad hominem that personally offends you. Guess what? It's gonna come as a news flash. I don't care. <laughs> you know, I mean, I don't. I don't care what offends you. You know. So there you go. If he does false flags on people's mass reports. Is he a Nazi? If that's true, and I don't know, false flag. Who do you false flag? Uh, he definitely. I remember something to do with Alex Jones. He's pretty he fucking extreme. He's a, he's pretty extreme left. So I don't know. Maybe yeah. What did he do? 
Uh, I remember, didn't he like uh, people that he started like trying to say like all these people that are friends with Alex Jones need to be wiped off the platform or something like that. Well, that's a pretty Nazi like statement. <laughs> I can't argue with that. <laughs> he also said something about communism once and how wonderful it was great. He wouldn't let anybody reply to it. All right. Apparently, Fop Doodle is going to call in to argue with you about the Nazi thing. I'm not allowed. Uh, he he's going to tell me what I can't say. Good. I can't no, wait. No, he, well, he does say he's like, give me a fan, uh, give me a couple minutes. I am a fan, by the way. But all right, fine, right fine. I'll listen. Right, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, how long is he? Is he see, I want to have to start that other video. Um, here's the thing. I, I may, I'll, I'll put because I'll take calls at the end of this. Um, and he can come in. Well, and I tell think me. this could be like some interesting content. Like, <laughs> I, I, I like, I like. He, 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 you're more than welcome to come and and, and say. Um, what language I can and can't use, and I'm gonna be like, I don't care, <laughs> I don't care. I'm sorry to offend you. Like, hey, if you're gonna try this trick, well, you make yourself look bad. I don't care. <laughs> when have I ever cared about that? Yeah. So I went on. Twitter. People won't take you seriously. I don't care. <laughs> Nobody takes me seriously anyway. I fucking tell you, who's no fucking good? Like John Swan and Domino don't believe me anyway. What do I care? What do I care? Everybody tells me I don't know anything when it happens. They're like, wow, Tommy, how'd you know this? You must be psychic. No! I know people. I know people. I know bad traits. I surround myself with horrible people. I know every one of their traits. <laughs> Twitter today. And I saw that someone was saying that Ethan Klein was going to be taking an indefinite hiatus from his H3H3 show or whatever. That to mean he's, uh, he's leaving and who knows for how long. Turned out just to be clickbait. Uh, he was just saying that he's going to be taking some time off because of the, I, I think the birth of his, his, his child or, or something along those lines. This reminded me that very recently I found out that Ethan has something like six different sound effects of me. On <laughs> <laughs> Probably because you're goofy. His podcast. Not only that, he has used them frequently for over two years. That is just really fucked up. He's not using these in like a wholesome way. He's using them to mock me as a regular thing. Mock me? How dare you mock me? Don't mock the Fuhrer. <laughs> you know what you get. Thing for years. I don't know it's how- It's so funny. Everybody's gonna think I'm crazy. This guy's gonna sound like, well, he really does sound like a fucking Nazi by the end of this. <laughs> <laughs> how sick of an individual you have to be to do something like this? Like if he was using it in some wholesome way or Shouting me out in some positive way, fine. Oh yeah, it's only good if he was if, he, if he's praising the pure, then you'd be fine. <laughs> he's just using it to mock me. As I said here, it's sad that Ethan Klein's announcement of taking mockery is a part of criticism. Mockery is a part of that. Harsh criticism and mockery. An indefinite break from H3H3 was clickbait. As someone who has been incessantly harassed by him for years in front of thousands, he is one of those truly deserving of being driven off the internet. A bully beloved by bullies. It would be he wants to be driven off the internet. Who would want to do that? Commies? <laughs> Nazis? Because he mocked you? Oh, I'm so off on this guy. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> be different if this was a wholesome meme as we try and use it, but Ethan and a his fans- A wholesome meme. <laughs> we, only, we only mock people uh, in a wholesome way. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here! Clearly do not use or see it that- Would you want to bet you'd find some brutal fucking mockery that he's done? Uh, somebody he doesn't like. But I, if I had to guess, it's, it's, it's okay because it's bad people, you know? Yeah. Way, in general, Ethan has never understood the difference between jokes and mockery. He views insults as jokes. Jokes are mockery. Because he finds joy in hurting others. Mm. A part of the reason why this I was- This is just a fuck. this is the biggest thing. I tell you, so you are too white and too male for this fucking trick. Chat, chat, what is more, Dark, was Dark Viper like a speedrunner or something? Uh, like I think he's involved in that community, yeah. He's probably yeah, across yeah, yeah. Apollo. Yeah. Accepting of the 14 pages meme is because I I tried to who as a fucking man who could fucking the way I've been mocked over the years like who could fucking do this and, and feel good about it feel feel anything less than a a weak a, a, a weak willed jerk that can't take criticism or be mocked yeah. or be mocked so, so so he's a GTA A5 speedrunner and I gotta say I don't think there's any speedrunner ever that's not been mentally ill. Oh god! Like yeah. almost all of them are fucking just out yeah, of their like like mind. Apollo was like the normal most normal one of one of all of them. He's yeah, gone. yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ! 
the Nazi speed <laughs> runner. <laughs> Emotionally, or even in the public eye, claim back this meme. You know, this also happened to Jordan Peterson too. Like he, he made the comparison to um, transgender ideology and said it was authoritarian. You cannot compare. It's like, no, no, I'm not comparing them as far as like people that murdered thousands or anything. I'm comparing the ideology being the same. And I'm saying the mentality is the same here. That's what I'm saying. You don't like it. It's like tough shit. I mean, I don't know what that guy's going to argue with me about. From Ethan. I, I think he's just going to, my guess is he's going to tell me why it hurts me. I'm like, who the fuck? I got a bunch of arcades and football jerseys behind me. What the fuck? Oh, I'm not enough of a man. I mean, like, I'll come back and I'll get respected. Like, what, Destiny? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'll be, I'll, I'll be respected as an authoritarian womanizer. Woo! <laughs> And he is, he is using it as a way to mock me and attack me for, for seemingly no other purpose than he finds joy in, in you know, mocking. Everybody finds joy in mocking somebody like you. Just like Nerd City. <laughs> Trying to make me feel bad, as he seemingly does with so many other people. It has been nice to have watched from the sidelines and not necessarily participate in. Oh, what's this? Ethan Klein announces leftovers are likely pause going forward. Is planning a thing. I don't want to talk about this conflict anymore. Ethan will be talking about the son of you putting this pause. The leftovers. Hassan and Ethan are having a falling out, and people mocking both Ethan and Hassan. This can't be done. You can't, you can't mock influencers. This, this can't be done. This is wrong. This is a criminal thing. Oh, he didn't say it was a crime. He called it harassment. For these practices that I'm now criticizing here, because I don't think in, 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 a, in a good world that doing this kind of thing should gain you clout, should- Oh, sorry what you fucking feel. Sounded more like a Nazi. This shouldn't happen because I don't, I, I, I don't think, think people should um, be praised for this. I personally believe that. It must stop. Be a mechanism to achieve popularity. To have a fundamental... Has he does, I, I, you know what? I don't think I'd ever get through one of his fucking videos. So I can't say for sure if he's done stuff like that. I'm willing yeah. to put money on it though. Anybody want to bet? Aspect of your content being mocking others and, and attempting to make them feel bad for no other purpose than to you know make yourself feel good or or to make others feel good by being actually better. actually the, the important thing about mockery uh when it comes to criticism and mockery is a part of criticism is to take the piss out of someone who thinks they're serious thinks they're smart uh tells other people what to do and it shows everybody else that this guy's just a fucking jerk that's what my that's why mockery is it, it's essential it's essential Mockery is essential part of criticism. Better than others or, or some such. I just, there's a time and a place for that stuff. Like I can, I can understand why in the original video that Ethan made that he mocked me for saying 14 pages, like half a dozen times over the course of like an hour. But to continue for this many years oh. is more than- Oh, 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 the amount of time. We've done, I mean, this is just a fancier way of saying he made too many videos for me. Well, it's the same yeah. thing. Put that guy on. Just excessive. It is actually fucked up. You know what I'm saying? The clips it's I- It's fucked up. It's harassment. It's a crime. It's a crime to be mocked. Have here. I obviously had no re- I had no desire to have the entire sections in there. But it isn't like once or twice. The clips I have here um, all come from YTKS, which is where you can search a channel for- particular words. So this thing isn't perfect. It isn't like it's picked up every single time he's done this. But it's like a hundred fucking times. 14 pages of what he <laughs> Sex of- You know what we gotta do? What? He's gotta be our new fucking donation sound boy. Donation the sound? answer is 14. It's 14 pages! Mm -hmm. um, it's 14 pages! <laughs> Sorta of like Ethan Klein a little more every day. Right. 14. <laughs> 14 pages. 14 pages. Divided by 14. It's 14. Okay. How could that possibly hurt your feelings after 14 times? Like, he's mentally ill. Yeah, he's mentally, mentally ill. Pages. Ill, yeah. <laughs> because one of my favorite oh, no. people on the internet, Dark Viper, 14 pages. You remember this? Can you imagine that, like, um, uh, that, that people that, that I could go striking people for saying, uh, pull the knife to the right, to the left? And, and, can you imagine me saying that? Mm -hmm. Can you imagine a catchphrase or a meme or 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 or, or, or uh, so why am I still getting hate or you think of anything can be stopped because it's mockery. You Nazi! So <laughs> what about the one where you like interrupt Augie and you're like, I'm sorry to interrupt, but I'm at a loss for words. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah imagine that. Was... That's pretty fucking funny. <laughs> oh. That's a really good one. 
this guy. That guy really, I, I will give that fucking kid credit. He did knock me off my seat a little bit. Ugh. Oh, oh team you page. just missed. I wrote 14 pages Ethan. on page 14. Well, he wrote 14 pages. It's but, a 14 okay, page Okay, if document. you want me to consider your thesis. I'm convinced now. I've heard it so many times. This is, I've totally crossed the line. <laughs> <laughs> He's completely crossed the line. I need another 14 pages on this. I want to take it seriously. 14 pages. How have you read his material? He's just a fucking idiot, bro. He's 14 pages. That's what what? This man, looking like this, yelling 14 pages. You have a tag top and you fucking cry about making people making fun of you. I take that hat at any day of the week. <laughs> over and over again, for literally years, is calling me stupid. The lack of self-awareness. Uh, yeah, one guy's deliberately trying to be stupid because he's a comedian trying to get a laugh. The other one takes himself too seriously because he fucking streams. What, GTA? Are you kidding me? Do you know the mockery that goes on in that game of social issues and other people in that? Lots. Yeah. This yeah. here is insane. I'll say this to you, chat. The reason people like this have to do this is because they can't come people back. People like the this. Argument. What, Jews? <laughs> <laughs> I told you! <laughs> If you've ever seen, if you ever want to lose, if you even have a shred of belief that he, he uh, the artist doesn't understand comedy. No, no, he wants to end it. He wants to end mockery. He's better than you. Hey, okay, buddy. Thanks for the check money. Dark Viper's reaction streamer. Well, Mama Max is depressed. It's a total. That joke. has any credibility. Thank you. Go back and watch this video I made. Ethan Klein claims react content is just free speech. The hypocrite speaks, and you listen to him just repeat the phrase "free speech" over and over and over again. He, who's got a problem with free speech? Well, the Nazis did, and so does the Viper. I'm gonna can't wait to keep doing this. <laughs> to defend reaction content. Right to free speech. Free speech, and what a reaction video ultimately is, is free speech. We value free speech, and I just consider it free speech. Nazis free don't. <laughs> Where's that guy? Free speech. Again, we're talking about free speech. We're talking about free speech. Free speech. This is protected speech, my friend. This is free speech. You think, uh, is, 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 uh, is, um, is Dark Viper going to come up on why it's not protected? About fair use, right? We're talking right, about I'm free dying speech. to hear it. Freedom of speech. It's it's free speech. Jewish, you don't need for speech. Good. I'm glad I put that in people's heads. Good. <laughs> Free speech. Free speech. That's America. Free speech. Free speech. It's free speech. Because this is America. Could you imagine if for the last three years I harped on about how Ethan used the phrase free speech 36 times in his video? Yeah, as it would suck in, like, your content. <laughs> it was some holy phrase that meant if he said it, he needed no further arguments? It was funny, sure, but you'd think me mad if I had referenced it a hundred times since then. And then the next time it came up in the public consciousness where people were against React content, you didn't hear him screaming about free speech anymore. No interest in that. Oh, React content isn't free speech. What are you talking about? Has anyone ever complained that you stole their videos? Um, anybody that has anybody ever? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. Oh, 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 he doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't put the the, the difference in. This guy just sits there and watches them. <laughs> well, thank God YouTube goes by. I'm, I'm surprised they still do. I don't know if they take fucking. Um, I don't know, some backwards country's free speech law and adopt that <laughs> or, or, or uh, on fair use. And ultimately, that's what this is. He's against fair use, even though I, I, I don't think he's entitled to stream. If, if uh, what I, I'm pretty sure if Rockstar said no more, that's it. Is he, I guess it was going to who's going to shriek free speech. Because <laughs> nobody's ever complained to me about that. You literally do it to enrich yourself. You're a multi-millionaire, and you steal content from small creators, and you don't give a fuck. So does Hassan. <sighs> fuck about their rights. Really? He said this when he was working with Hassan? To XQC? I think so. The oh, balls of him, huh? Yeah. Or what they want. And then your only justification is, oh yeah, you can come chase me down and complain and try to get- You fucking worked with a guy that did it for years and still does. He even puts a fake video to show up when he has to go to the bathroom, walk away, and continue to play it. Unbelievable! <laughs> what a fucking hypocrite. <laughs> it's so funny. It is kind of funny that XQC's like, come get me, bro. Like, that's going to win you any favors. Ugh. My attention so I can pay you for the shit I stole. It's total bullshit, bro.
You're not creating right. anything big for anyone. You're just taking attention and views for yourself, and you don't get. And when does he run a radio show where you access other YouTubers and content? Unbelievable! Holy crap! The fuck about the the uh, the consequences of that? It's not your decision to make that for other people's property. Ethan is willingly ignorant about his son. No, I think I, I think a lot of Jews have come to had to come to Jesus moment. <laughs> I think yeah. a lot of Jews would come to DJ because the ideology they believe in would have totally oppressed them. And you see it. Like, who's voting for Trump? Michael Rappaport. <laughs> Did he say he's voting for Trump? Yes! Oh my yes! God. Yes, yes, because they all fucking figured out where they stand when the wackos are trying to empower take over. Wasn't that the psycho like that was just like, fuck these Trump, these MAGA Nazis? Yes! Yes, he's going, I went on Tim Pool! I think did he you're kidding me. No, I think he did. Far left comic Michael Rappaport. Uh, let's see. No, this is from a while ago. I think. I think he. I think he went on oh. Tim Pool. I'm pretty sure. Do you go on Tim Pool? Far left comic says Michael Rapp. Uh, far left comic Michael Rappaport says voting for Trump is on the table after seeing migrants. I think he's got. I think he's and and that's that was like two months ago. I think he's. I think he's yeah. crossed the plane. I told you. Uh, Michael Rappaport admits being wrong about Trump. Oh. <gasps> Oh! All of a sudden, he's not an anti-Semite. I got, I got a clip right here, Tom. If you want to, like, sure, look at it. sure. It's about ten minutes long, but I'm. No, sure I, don't want, then I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. I've, I've seen I'm... Michael Rappaport go off before. I think everybody knows it. it's not. It's like anybody who pays attention to like political YouTube knows that that he kind of flip. You don't need consent. A lot of Jews, a lot of Jews in Hollywood flip. I don't know. I, 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 I guess they don't want to be that, that scene in the Sp Steven Spielberg movie. Too bad Steven Spielberg can't figure it out. The, yeah. they're, 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 I, the most brilliant scene in the movie. They won't kill us. They do this for the war effort. <laughs> <laughs> to exercise free speech. There is nothing to... Uh, free speech, uh, critical commentary, fair use, nothing about it uh, includes consent. If you needed consent... Nor does it disclude mockery. Then there would be no value. I don't think so. I wouldn't vote for him. I'm going to value for critical commentary because nobody would give consent to that. Let's say someone comes from your stream. They've watched you all day. They love you. They're a big fan. They watched you react to, let's say, Mr. Beast. You know, the thing, the thing is, he's such a slime ball. If I had yeah. to guess, he's doing this for his own because that's a competition. Because like XCC is the real fucking star of YouTube now or, or Twitch. New video. Okay. Yeah. And then they come to the homepage, and guess what they see there? Mr. Beast's new video. Do you think they're, there's, are they less likely or more likely to click his video after they saw it on your channel? Less. You like, like, same thing with his stuff. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Did. Damn. Didn't he do Bobax's content? I think so, maybe. Mm. The, the big difference between XQC and everybody else is XQC doesn't commentate. Yeah. Ever. The Eric, Eric July Nazi? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know enough about him. I'm yeah. sorry. You blew my mind with the Michael Rappaport thing. So I, I, well, you think? That, that, Somebody my mind was. Is blown. Oh, this doesn't surprise me. <laughs> it surprised me. I, I, I tell you what, what should be more mind blowing that more people, that more American Jews didn't go, what the fuck? People are justifying that shit? That's what really should happen. Yeah. Watches someone like Charlie and a video he reacts to gets 3 million views and the original has a hundred thousand You bet your ass that original video is going to get a lot more views By the way, this whole point this whole back and forth is entirely moot because the point is it doesn't matter if somebody's getting exposure It doesn't matter about impressions. We're talking about free speech. I gotta give Dr. Bay for this. He's got him here But I don't think it helps his case at all. It just shows Ethan to me. It's just a hypocrite argument this is yeah, the thing. Is like, this is the murderer done. telling you it's not okay to murder. He's a hypocrite. Is he wrong? Because Ethan Klein isn't wrong right here. He's just a hypocrite. Yeah. It, nothing qualifies that. You have a right. If you like it or not, dude, better to have been reacted to than not. 100% of the time. I'm the second that he could defend React content for clout, he did. The second he could condemn React content for clout, he did. The man has no consistent beliefs. I give him that. Can't argue there. Has no arguments, which is why he has things like this. His platform. Your argument is you can't mock me. I, I'll take his hypocrisy over your authoritarianism any day of the week. <laughs> is just abuse, insults, mockery, 
because he has no consistent ideology or, or beliefs. He doesn't care about anything else. Probably true. <laughs> Except his own self-aggrandizement. Some fucking and it's probably true of you too. <laughs> He's 14 pages. That's what what? Oh, I'm not gonna sit there and fucking listen to him. He hasn't made a fucking stellar argument why anybody needs to be stopped. I'm gonna flip ahead. I'm sick of listening to Ethan. Ethan's a hypocrite. You proved it. Behavior like this is harassment. I do not deserve to be mocked in the public eye. I do not deserve to be mocked for years. And Ethan will have the goal to, oh, to complain about other people mocking him for to to mock or me. him when he did nothing but that. If you'll just go watch my video about what Ethan said all the way back then, our only interaction I is think you harassed with... Ethan. <laughs> <laughs> By continuing to play that stuff over and over and over again. <laughs> He's representing me to hundreds of thousands of people and he never stopped doing it. Despite my clear expressing that I didn't like it. By making a video saying this is- I, I did not like it! I didn't like it! not cool but he keeps doing it because he cares about no one but himself mm. the only way this man can feel good i'm sure you hey listen i know a lot of influencers i've been around them all of them only care about themselves and i guarantee you're included yeah. it's to tear other people down and his audience seems the same way as i say a bully beloved by bullies. why would you attack the audience that's always stupid you want to convince them but he's stupid please it's important to remember that this wasn't a meme that was created by other people that H3H How just- How dare you mock a public figure, says Sid Chow. Picked up and used because he found it funny. It was something that he specifically made to mock me and avoid having to grapple with the arguments you that- imagine I me, it's such a fucking megalomaniac to think that you can't be mocked as a public figure. Where's that goofball? Put him on. Uh, let's see if he's still around. Because I'm done with this guy's neck. Oh, there he is. All right, that's He's what it is. All right. Bop Doodle, you're on. Bop Doodle, you're on. Go ahead. Bop Doodle. Give him a chance. I think I know. I've seen Bop Doodle around. He's all right. He's just got to get his shit working. You're, he's allowed to mock me and disagree with me. I won't fucking shut him down. Oh, he's a Nazi, though, Tommy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I would call him a Nazi. He's, he has every right to criticize me. Yeah. Right. You know and I'm mock me. Nazis. You know, <laughs> you know who do a lot of mocking? The Nazis. No, the Nazis. Let's see if he'll come back. How dare. Are, you're just making the victims of the Nazis. Um, you, 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 what, do they, what do they call that? When you're, when you're under... Uh, you, you make a, you, I'm making a mockery of the Holocaust. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's okay, try. Alright, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Well, I was gonna pull him in. Yeah, we'll, we'll work uh, on it here because we, we, you're worth. Normally, I'd hang up with you by now, but uh, um, he, he left. He's not there. Uh, he's probably. He, he. I bet he's having like legit problems because he went in to check if your mic works. So uh, give me a sec. Sorry. No, it's no Chat. problem. Mic isn't working. This might be interesting. I think he's gonna be heartily disappointed because I'm just gonna say he's entitled. Like, are these? Gonna say he's entitled to his opinion, you know, and I don't care, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, which because if I didn't, I look like a Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, I'm gonna start putting other people in now. Is that goat? Is Ghost Gaming? All right, we'll try. Ghost Gaming, you ready? Come on. Oh, uh, hey, what's up? What's up? I don't know. You called. Uh, no, uh, I was going to talk about the Illy animation story, but I don't know if you guys want to hear it. What is it? It's like... Is it a yeah. drama? Yeah, it's a drama of a bigger YouTuber that, uh, didn't have, um, I guess she didn't like the criticism of one of the other YouTubers that were criticizing her, but mm -hmm. she never watched the video, and it was like an, and she's like, a like, a million subscribers, and the guy was a, basically a nobody. You, you really sold the story to me. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm I'm sorry. It's just, it, it was, I think it's kind of crazy, man. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. All right, send it to me, I guess. I don't know. All right. All right. All right. Uh, everything, is everything else okay? Is, is everything else all right in your life? Can I help you? Uh, I don't know, man. The Ethan Klein and Dark Viper thing is kind of stupid, but yeah, well, I just don't like Ethan. Because what, what do you think? What do you think I've been doing here for the past like seven, eight years? Stupid. Oh, uh, you've been yeah, but 
I'm an, I'm an expert at stupid. Like, I commit acts of stupid. And, uh, cause stupid no, is funny. No. Stupid's pretty funny. Well, it's not like that. It's just that Ethan supported Hassan, and that's the fucking big issue. He seems with me. A, he, he, I don't think he's particularly bright. He just, Ethan wanted to win. He got, he got, he got TDS and he wanted to it's win. Like, it I mean. fucking bothers me because this fucking prick supported this fucking loser for so long. And he should have known anymore. this fucking guy was a Nazi. Not anymore. Now he knows where he stands. This is real yeah. life. And it, it fucking bothers me because he was still defending. Well, I mean, people he said to people said to him, like, you're literally putting a guy in a room with you that would love to see a dad, and he would go on to say, uh, oh, babies are settling. Baby, How baby, you? baby. Like, literally, go ba fuck yourself. Yeah, uh, I don't like, know. That's what I would have told them. Yeah, but he's not like that because he wanted to suck up to a, a, a certain part of the uh, public that he thought was going to benefit him. Yeah, but it's like, now that I know that fucking Jewish people are being attacked by these fucking psychos, I'm going to vote for Trump. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, That's you know what? You could have known it for years because you could look at lives of the Jews in the communist states in Eastern Europe and no, see how they were, and they were treated a little better than the Nazis. I was never a left-wing person. Yeah. You look I was never a left-wing person. I was always a centrist. All right. Yeah, you sound it. I'll talk to you later. I want to get this guy uh, flap a doodle in. All right, Thank later. You. Take care. He's emotional. All right. You are, my man. Okay, so, yeah, so, Tommy, explain to me how you're any different from Keffels or anyone who... I did. Didn't you hear me say it? No, because, look, if you are just constantly calling people Nazis, that's exactly what they're doing. Well, I, 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 here's what I said before. I think the difference is, is there, there's like, okay, that guy's a conservative. He's a Nazi. All right? I've never done that. I gave specific examples of why I think that's a Nazi-like behavior. That's the difference. As far as it, as far as, 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 as far as it being any better, probably not. Um, but no, I, 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 I think. To, you're not allowed to criticize them for calling people Nazis for like the smallest and trash. I don't know if I've ever done that. I just call them Nazis. I, th I think that's the way to do it. I honestly, and that, that's another thing from a political, from a political point of view, I think, uh, it takes the steam out of them. It takes the piss out of them. If they're calling everybody Nazis, they're like, you know what? You are too. And here's why it kind of just, it nullifies it. It makes the whole thing like I'm using it. it, it, it I, I like to think that I'm using it to take the piss out of the actual word where it doesn't mean anything because all it is, it, it, you're right, you're right, it's an ad, you're right, it's an ad hominem at the end of the day. Yeah. Yeah, but th that's well, good. You think it's to take the piss out of them, but it doesn't sound like it when you're just like screaming about, you sound just as unhinged as they are. Well, I gave yeah. examples. They just say you're a conservative. You're a this. You're, you don't agree with me. I gave examples why Dark Viper has Nazi-like well, behavior. Sure they say the same thing that like you know Nazis fucking burned uh, gay books or whatever, and it's the same when conservatives I don't know don't want uh, the gay agenda pushed on their kids. Like they probably have examples the same way, but it's still ridiculous. It's uh, still ridiculous. Well, all right. Yeah. Well, here's here's what I said. I'll say the same thing to you, Judge Lodge. And I and I stand by this 100 percent because it, you know Jordan Peterson got the same question. He said about the transgender ideology, it's very similar to authoritarian. And the I forget who was interviewing said it was absolutely ridiculous. And he said, no, no, the ideology is the same. It doesn't mean they push them into a fucking oven or anything. The ideology is the same. I stand by that. And I think if you watch, if you go over and watch this stuff and you listen to Dark Viper, I mean, he doesn't think he should be mocked because of the person he is. He thinks people should be silenced and stuff like that. So, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But so, so why, why not? Who cares? Who cares if I call? I mean, like, who cares? Fuck him. I think that's, I think that's Nazi like. You can say it, but it's basically just a hypocrisy where, like, you criticize, you would criticize Keffels for calling you a Nazi or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I would expect it. I probably wouldn't, I wouldn't care. I can be perfectly honest with you. I, I mean, I, I think, like, it's up, to, and I'll leave it up to the public, and you're entitled to your opinion, that I, I, and I gave you the example why I think I'm different. I think it's just thrown around. I'm giving examples. That's the difference. And, and, and then, and I have to be judged on the examples that I give. And if somebody said the examples I gave, is ridiculous. Well, so be it. You know, I can deal okay, with that. Sure. But also, like, calling someone a Nazi, that's, like, the worst thing you could probably call them in, like, in, to, in the modern age, right? So when you're calling people Nazis, you're basically, like, I don't know, it's just, it's just way too extreme. Like, you can call them authoritarian. But I'm extreme. I'm extreme with my language. That's nothing new. I mean, it, it, I, I find it that a lot of people don't have a problem with it unless it's their guy or maybe their personal issue or something like that. I've always been extreme and over the top with my language. And I don't, I don't want to stop. This is the way I run the show. You know, and, 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 and you, it, like, you have every right to reject it, right? I mean, how long would you think you would have lasted with Keffels with a similar criticism? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, all right. So, I, I mean, so I, I stand by it. 
it, look, I don't, it's not lost to me that that it could come off as ridiculous and I could not be taken seriously. I don't care. I'm not taken seriously when I'm fucking on the level. So why do I care when I'm being over the top and hyperbolic? Okay, well, what about this? Uh... If, uh, say there's like a 17 year old and 19 year old and you, uh, were in a relationship and you call the 19 year old a pedophile. What's the, also, <laughs> well, well, also it's been, yeah, I, I've set up that. I don't, I don't think that even, I think it's apples and oranges. I don't know. Well, I think the, it, and then people, all right, all right. I'm going to give the, the people have to judge me on what I said. And I don't have a problem with that. And if they want to say that's over the fucking top and, and that's what have you, and I, I, I think that's, I honestly think that's a lot worse than calling somebody a Nazi because I'm obviously being super hyperbolic, right? Where there, that's a specific example of a criminal behavior. And that's where I do draw the line. Yeah, I, I'm not going to, like, calling somebody a Nazi as an ad hominem is not different of accusing them of an actual crime. I think I think that's different, and that's where I do draw line. Some people, it is. I think to so, some people, it's like I mean, in, in like some countries, it's literally probably illegal to be a Nazi. Yeah, but th those countries are backwards. It, 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 they're backwards. I can't. I know. I can call you a Nazi. Get this. I call you a Nazi, but I can't call a German a Nazi, even if they're behaving like one. And I, I live in a country like that, and I think that's ridiculous. I think it's ridiculous. I think that's Nazi-like. You could let let just people think I'm a goofball. Let me think I'm an idiot. That's fine. I, I, okay, well, yeah. Yeah, I guess I, I just disagree with you. That's fair. It, it, that's fair. It's just like, I thought you were going to come in here and tell me, well, you're really not doing yourself any favors. I don't care. I really just want to be entertaining at the end of the fucking day. Second of all, I do stand by the fact that people that have those fucking traits are perfect for concentration camp cards. I do. I do believe that. I think of this, there, I think people that have those traits, like Heffels, like this guy, if they were put in an extreme situation like World War II, would be those people. I do believe that. Now, you may think that's extreme, I got, a, but I got a pretty good record in picking on people's personalities and figuring out what they're gonna do. I'll stand by that. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. You, you don't have to like it. You don't have to like it. You know, I like. I, I, I think what you're doing is like, oh my god, you're making a fool of yourself. I'm a fan of you, and I don't like that. Oh, fine. You know what? Let me make a fool of myself. It, it, it just seems to me like you always go on about how you hate like pearl clutchers or whatever. It just seems kind of like the same I'm thing. I'm pearl clutching. I'm attacking. <laughs> oh, I'm not going, oh my god, there's so many Nazis around here. I'm attacking. I'm, I, I would never pearl clutch. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's, it's like their language kind of Your thing. Your critics, yeah, I, that, but don't you think, I, to me, let's use their language. Nullify it. Yeah, sure. I mean, from that perspective, yeah. Yeah, nullify it. Make it, make, take the piss out of it. You know? I guess you just gotta kind of make it more obvious that it's, like, you're taking the piss out if of it. If I was a political commentator, this is why you might catch me being a so-called hypocrite in the future. If I was a political commentator, I would say that it was completely ridiculous. Can't call people Nazis, right? Have you? I'm not that guy. I'm not that guy. I'm, a, I'm doing a completely different thing over here. So I can't be held to the same standard as a Destiny or a Ben Shapiro or anything like that because I'm not doing what they're doing. Yeah, I agree with that. I'm, 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 just, I'm yeah. just Tommy C. Like, who the fuck am I? I'm a washed up soldier that lives in Germany that, that, that is, yeah, it has a terrible laugh and it yell, yells at everybody. You know, I'm not yeah, a sophisticated, I'm not, I'm not a sophisticated person. I'm not even particularly smart. You know, I, I'm just, I'm just that guy. That's it. I'm just a okay. regular fucking, that's what I'm selling. Regular fucking big mouth. <laughs> you know what okay. I mean? Yeah. Yeah, that's about it. Yeah, that's it. So I, that's why I figured well, this would go. By the way, I'm a fan. I'm a big fan. I know you are. I know you are. You're yeah. a good guy, and uh, you know what? You have every right to think I'm being an idiot. <laughs> okay, and you would okay. you wouldn't be the first guy either. All right. Okay. See ya. Take care. Bye. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right. Paula M, you're on the air. Go. Uh, so I just wanted to reiterate um a bit from. Fucking ghost gaming about the early animation shit. Uh, she didn't watch the video, and if you are gonna go look into it, just watch uh, the dude who criticized her. I think before he sleeps, second video, like responding to her flagging shit. I don't know what you're talking about, man. Uh, uh, just like you know what we need. But, uh, you know, you know, you know, you know what's missing in the world today. Tipster. Hmm. Tipster used to take up with stuff like this. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I've dropped, uh, you know, um, I don't mind you guys and send me the stories and definitely send my news team and stuff. It's a good way to get on the news mm -hmm. team. Um, I just, I, 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 I've kind of tired of news stories. I'm, I'm more looking for goofballs like, uh, like uh, our friend here today. Um, as far as breaking uh, news and stuff like that, I really don't give a shit. Um, I, I used to do that. Um, 
there's a certain amount of responsibility that comes with that that I don't want. <laughs> so um, is is this the same story as a guy that um, called before? Is this like some yes. big big YouTuber? Is there a yeah. video, like a condensed video that you could show me or send me or anything like that? Uh, you could watch Diesel Patches, but it's... How long? Uh, Diesel Patches is still making content? Very informative. Yeah, Diesel Patches is still making content. So it's, uh, so what, what's how long is it? How long is it? How long? You can send it to me. Uh, I think it's about like somewhere around like 15 minutes or something like that. Ah, that's probably too uh, long. Yeah. Sponsored like about 30, I think. Yeah. Maybe well, tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. Name? You know what? Send it to me. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow. What's the guy's name? Oh, it's nice. Oh, I'll uh, take it before you sleep. All right. I haven't Talk. heard anything about this. All right, send it to Matt, and maybe we'll do it tomorrow. Send it to me, send it to Matt, send it to whatever, and maybe we'll take a look at it, all right? If I can get something out of it, something's good. See, the thing is, if it's straight up, like, um, this one's doing this, like, uh, the, the big one, little one, and there's no funny in there, I'll probably just ignore it. But if there's some funny in there, and there's some, like, really, like, hysterical hypocrisy, people say goofy stuff, I'm all for it. But if it's just this guy suing, and the, the person suing is being quiet, and the other person's complaining, probably I, I probably wouldn't cover that, you know? Mm. Grimsy found out I don't give a shit anymore. <laughs> right. Well, I'll send it to Matt. I did my, I did my time. I did my time with that stuff. But send it anyway. Maybe it'll work. Talk to you later. All right. Bye bye. Later. Uh, King Jiffy Coats, go ahead. Hello. Hello. Yo. Go ahead. Hey, um, I was just kind of asking about. I was just figuring I could uh jump in on the whole like calling people Nazis thing. Go ahead. Thinking... Go ahead. So the funny about this whole shit i i think it's like oh well nazi's just such a horrible term and shit yeah so's like, the well, n-word you know so's the n-word you know, <laughs> you know i mean you can do that with anything it's you know like a two dollar fifty fucking word that you can throw out at any time it doesn't really make uh or break any argument no. i think the fact that you have an argument on the situation mm -hmm. puts a lot of the fucking throwing the nazi on the table like it's a i think he has think a similar right outlook than those people had that's what i believe all right. Oh, okay. I don't know that. I don't know if he's capable of hurting anybody. I don't think, but I think that's the same thing. I think uh, there's well, parts of the LGBT community that have that. How could gay well, people do well, that? No, they could. You know, nobody's oh, above what it. I was, the main point I was going to get on was more about like Ethan Klein himself. Oh, okay. uh, I do think it's funny these fucking bigger YouTubers that do the fucking ladder pull up from them that mm -hmm. then, oh, as soon as they have criticism, because this happened with uh, Ethan Klein and Steven Crowder. Not mm. a big fan of either of them, but Steven uh, had a soundbite of uh, uh, don't even think about it or something when it came to, like, vaccines or some bullshit. Mm. Yeah. And all of a sudden, he's trying to strike Steven Crowder, and it's the same fucking argument. Uh, he's a total—I like, I can't—he's, like, I couldn't defend him. He's indefensible when it comes to this kind of stuff, especially oh, yeah. historically. I mean, there's nothing he can do. But he's what a I'm huge saying hypocrite. Is it's the you have you have these people now that are defending this guy. Well, oh, because it's Ethan Klein. But you should look at both situations situationally. Is my problem mm. with a lot of this Listen, internet discourse? Fuck, Instead mm. of being like, oh, I don't like Ethan Klein, so I'm not gonna like side with him here. No, fuck both of these guys. Freedom of speech should be ringing out above all. I agree. Just because they were fucking assholes in the past doesn't mean make their argument bad now. Yeah. So. Oh well, well that's that's the whole. I always like this to, to, to pull the murder thing. If a murderer tells you not to kill, then it doesn't make it doesn't make him wrong. Um, no, I think I think either our carbs argument, but he just has no credibility. I have no credibility. Yeah. I have no credibility. You know, well, no, because I call everybody Nazi all the time. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you know, I like, but you know, here's the difference between me and them. They want to be taken seriously. I don't. I I I, I, I no. if you want to, that's great. But I'm not asking you to. You know. I'm sorry, but Ethan Klein thinking he's going to be taken seriously after doing years of fucking running around in a diaper, fucking harassing the public. That's funny. I'm sorry, That's now fucking funny. Up your That's table. funny. You don't fucking matter. <laughs> Sit down off your fucking high horse, you stupid fucking cuck. Remember when you used to matter? Yeah, that's the fucking yeah, It's too funny. But I'll stick up for him when he's right. No, I think he's right. Oh, no. yeah. and I'm saying, I think you're with you're, Me and you are in the same boat you're here. You're fucking right. Yeah. We, yeah, no, and I just felt like with that last dude kind of fucking, oh, it's a Nazi, Nazi, Nazi. It's like, dude, quit being a little fucking bitch about a word, and let's talk about the actual argument instead of about a word's fucking. Well, I, I think because... I, I think he was making more an argument that it's not helping me, I, and I'm not I, being. You know I, what? I, he's not wrong that I'm not being much better than my so-called enemy. He's not wrong about that. I, I, I concede, you know, but I, I just I don't care. Yeah, it, it's it's where he was getting caught up on the argument where I was mm -hmm. having the issue because it's getting caught up on the world. Well, they use it here. Well, they use it here. 
fuck them. Let's use it too. Yes, use it if, too. If, if, if you actually have a reason for it, incite the reasons by why you're looking at somebody, it's like calling somebody a racist because they decided to use batteries and batteries are sourced from like Africa. Yeah, and, and like them, you have to ju- you have to judge that particular accusation of racism. A black person says, go pick cotton. One's actually fucking racist and the other's just uh, some dude fucking pulling enough straws to make it happen. It's it's the if you use an actual like reasoning for your yeah, I, I I think reason. their I think their reasoning is ridiculous and I think my re- like I said I said my reasons and this guy went on in the video to tell everybody should be silenced and he's above mockery and criticism yeah so like I think yeah. I'm on stronger ground but it's up to pe- the public to decide or, or whatever 100%, 100%. Yeah. I mean at the end of the day it's co- like I I create fucking videos but I I'm in a different spirit as you but sure. it's it's all about like at the end of the day if somebody watches my shit has a different take I don't fucking matter. I'm a yelling voice on a screen. I mean, same goes for you. Mm. Same goes for Ethan Klein. Pretty much. All the way up to these virtue signaling assholes from Hassan to fucking Ben Shapiro. Mm-hmm. That we don't matter at the end of the fucking day. I think he day. saw me. I think I think we have similar okay, political takes, if I had to guess being that guy. And he saw me yeah. as somebody who's representing a certain group or something, and I'm not. And I don't think he knew no, that. And then he I heard it from that. me. Like, not. Nah, I'm just an idiot on the radio, and and and, and that's fine. And, and that doesn't mean I'm not trying to pull the John Stewart. Well, I'm just a comedian thing. You could still hold me accountable, and you could still think I'm a big fucking hypocrite. I just I, I'm just gonna sit there and say what I feel. Uh, I'll give you reasons for it. If you think they're idiotic, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I'm not trying to be smarter than anybody. You know, at the end of the day, everyone's a hypocrite. Everybody changes their mind. Sure. on some, I mean, sure. It, it's just how hard do you fucking stand by calling? It's people who pretend they're not hypocrites. Yeah, that get the backlash from being a hypocrite. I'm sure. Well, that's, you know, that, that's, that's another what, thing. If I had to give Ethan Klein a break, maybe he's changed his mind since. And, and, and there, he has a lot of good reasons to change his mind after a song. Uh, changes his yeah. mind every three seconds. Oh, okay. I, I, got a qu- I got a question. Whoa, 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 whoa. I got a question oh, okay, for you, okay, King okay. Jeffy. Uh, are you a Nazi? <laughs> Every Tuesday, I get up in the morning, I put on my little black uh, Hugo Boss suit, I put on my red stripe, and I make sure to have my coffee for the day. I, I make sure to brew it with the tears of people I don't like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks for the call, man. I really appreciate it. Good call. Uh, no problem, man. Peace. All right. So now you guys know where I'm stand. I'm maybe, maybe I'm not somebody to, to follow. Maybe I'm not somebody to listen to. <laughs> I'll be right. And 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 you'll you'll take somebody else's side and be wrong. How about that? <laughs> Jack Walker on the air. Go, Jack. A. Hey, hey, what's up? How you doing? How you doing? I, I just wanted to point out. I don't think Dark Viper is going to be more of a Nazi. I think he's more of like a Joseph Stalin type who will try like. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> he's a Stalinist. I don't know. It doesn't have the sting. That's probably an accurate thing because he just tries to silence people. Because he might you might call him a Stalinist. He said you'd be like thanks. <laughs> That's, that's different. Which is, which is the other weird thing. So, also, I, how is this lawsuit also going to work? Because he's from Australia, and I don't know. Ethan's in what, like California? I, or uh, yeah, is yeah. this lawsuit even going to be worth no, it? No, no, no. The, the lawsuit's against Chud Logic in the United Kingdom. Um, so I don't, I don't, I don't think he's. It's two separate countries, though. They're yeah, two he, separate laws. Like what, what he's trying to do is really? that, like um, he's trying to rally his his base. Uh, that's that's what. Uh, look yeah. look what this terrible person did to me and then he's got a real example of hypocrisy you know but i mean i don't know he just looks like a bitch at the end of the day don't don't give this up to yeah, control logic you might make content out of it i mean what a fucking self-righteous yeah, dare anybody yeah. mock me yeah mock me. he's mocking me stuff. just to hurt my feelings therefore it should be censored speech get the fuck out of here get the yeah, fuck out of here and i can see how you can come up with that all that woke uh woke thought becoming more and more mainstream on that i can see how the pe- how people are coming up with that you know. Oh, bye. By the way, being no- woke, Nazi. <laughs> there you go. Anything else, Jack? You, anything, you can be anything that's a Nazi nowadays. Mm. It's crazy. I know. So, yeah, that's it. That's just my take. So take care, everybody. Take care. Bye bye. Wonder if this one's gonna get a monetize, huh? <laughs> uh, Ted Lance, you on the air? Ted Lance. Ted Lance. Yo, Tommy C. Yo, yo. Yo, Tommy C. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, we're here. What's up? Yo, I'm a fucking big fan of your show, man. No, oh, thank you. I'm a fucking huge fan. I see. You buy everybody a t-shirt. Like, you have no idea. You buy a t-shirt. But like, uh, I, I saw this. 
I, I saw your stream and I was like, what's going? What's your football <laughs> picture? George <laughs> with, Floyd in uh, a hijab? What, what like, what's going on? Why do you have George What's Floyd in a job? What is that? Is George Floyd <laughs> yeah, who cares about that? But uh, I don't know, get to the point. <laughs> you got to be a good call around here. You know, people get blown up around here. You know that, right? Like, what? What's going on with them? Why are they beefing? Who? <laughs> okay. Uh, is he? Get, is the first part of his speech getting cut off or something? Because no, uh, I don't Ethan, know. Ethan Klein and Dark Viper. Yeah, he we did, just did like. We just you're gonna have to go watch it, buddy. <laughs> If you're such a big fan, <laughs> why don't you go watch the stream? Oh, well, whatever. All right. it sucks, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was going to say the N-word. I something. thought so, like, too. I was expecting. Here I was we like, go. I was thought he was like, hey, Tommy. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Rock. Life Mike is Rock. like a net, you know. Yeah, yeah. I was like, let's, I'm kind of interested in the rap report thing now. Mm -hmm. we'll one one thing that I, yeah, yeah, I really short, disdain clip. in the mainstream media or even even media in general e even even with you guys he's wearing star of david now i got a, i got a shorter clip for you tommy if you want to just yeah yeah so he's wearing the star of david now and everything huh yeah some people are getting it some people the twitter it. the twitter the end wokeness twitter account I well think. did you did you um you see what you see what happened in ireland What's that? Oh, they, they, they tried to change the constitution and they were going to like change the name of the roles of mothers in there because it was sexist language, right? Yeah. And uh, they have some kind of weird tradition, UK and Ireland too. If you support a referendum and you lose it, you don't have to step down legally, but you step down. Yeah. So the, the, the prime minister fucking bagged it yesterday. He actually walked, he, he's done. And because he supported this fucking ultra woke referendum. It lost in every single fucking county in Ireland, except in Dublin, where it only passed by less than a percentage point. They just, they told this shit, they, they, this is smoke shit. I'm surprised, I'm surprised Hipster hasn't become a Nazi, because it seems yeah. like it'd be more, more uh, fruitful. <laughs> yeah. All right, you send me the other thing, let me check it out. Yeah, yeah, it's an uh, Wokeness Twitter account. In Wokeness, let me see this horse shit. Let's see. So if you if you if you believe in the Obama doctrine, all right, you know, be nice to each other, whatever. There's no way you were voting for for Trump. It just wasn't in the cards. It wasn't happening. It was abrasive. He was racist. The media, yada yada yada. And he was a joke. Like he, he has, as New Yorkers, like he was like yeah, he's a ball boss and troll. Exactly. He's a, he's a, Twenty five a... bucks. Tippy Savage. Real hypocrisy. People crying Nazi while uh, at the same time trying to police other people's speech and behavior. Yeah, it, it's kind of funny, ain't it? <laughs> but here's why See, I think the actions are more important than the word. You know, I don't care what words yeah. you use. I mean, it's, it's your actions. I think you're going to vote for him this time because you've seen what happened under his first term. You didn't like it. He's the, you know, he's the pig dick and he's got the mean tweets and he's orange. But life was good. There was no wars. The economy was going good. But damn, he's a, he's annoying to look at. But you also can acknowledge that the media had a major role in that. Uh, uh, a that, major role that in that. When you take a step back, yes, and, you also acknowledge that. Because I, well, you've I will also acknowledge yeah. that you know that he was a part of it. <laughs> one thing about the Charlottesville that so that, that I ranted about. Yes, I remember when he ranted about that. And he's I was so wrong. Fake. But the book. <laughs> you think this is fake? I think he's. I think he's do, making a move. I think he's mad about Israel and he's making a move and he wants attention. That's what I think. That's. Uh, I don't know because he was he was going on about <coughs> Israel and all the fucking lefties. That yeah, but you like when, when, when you start to realize you're at the end of the tone. Well, you might be right. You're probably right. How about that? Let's let, yeah. let me give him the benefit of the doubt. I, listen, I want to say this though. I love Michael Rappaport. Oh, actor. actor. I love that yeah, movie. That movie actor. he did with. Um, he has a small role yeah. in it, but he's so good. Um, the one about the New Jersey New York cops, uh, Copland. Oh God, he's good in that. Yeah, yeah, he, like uh, he, he's 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 done a lot of cool stuff, you know, over the years. Yeah, both sides thing. Yeah, yeah, and, but, so and I respect so irresponsible, and I respect the shit out of Wait, let me campaign. let me hear him out. Hang on, yeah. go, go a little bit more. What do you mean by that? You were wrong on that. Bit Dave, it's funny. No, because he said the, the both sides. You know, there's good people on both sides, and when you see the full quote, yeah, yeah, it, that wasn't what what he said. And 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 it is kind of hard to swallow. Like, how did you not know that? Are there people that are just complete? You know, I talked to somebody, and, and, and she's a friend of mine, right? Mm -hmm. And she kept on saying, what was the other thing? Um, he, across state lines, or with Kyle Rittenhouse, across state lines. Like, when I talked to her, I, I don't think she lied to me. She's not a fucking influencer or anything of that nature, yeah. right? Um, 
uh, she's not an influencer or anything. And she really didn't know about, like, first of all, it didn't come over. Second of all, it doesn't matter. Right. You know? You know, say like she really didn't know. I mean, I think like people that are on the internet, like we are, naturally actually probably get both sides of the political spectrum more so than somebody that just is still a normie. So maybe yeah. you know he still he lives in normie land. He works in normie land. He's not just the receiver of their content. So maybe he's telling the truth. That's the most generous I could be to him. More than likely, you're right, Matt. Guy's a total fraud. And yeah, you know. I, I ranted on him hard for that. Mm -hmm. Hard. There's some video about it, whatever. Yeah. I mean, I ranted hard because I was like, what are you Horse. talking about, man? Because you got played. And here's what the re this is why I think you're going to vote for Trump. is because you, much like me, much like many people, independent thinkers, not the sheep, realize we kind of got played a little bit. Yes. These, guy, these, these guys left the left and went to a bunch of Arabs. It's a fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Trump ain't exactly the same. Actually, I think they're Christian Arabs, by the way. Move his character. He's not, he's not Jesus Christ. No. But he actually, his policies and who he has around him are way better than what's going on there. And here's my final point. You see what's going on with the border. You see yep. what's going on with the wokeness. You see what's going on with culture wars. And you see what's going on with actual wars. Yeah. Specifically, you see who the, the Democrats have exposed their hand especially the progressive left. You see what's going on between Israel and Gaza. You have three Star of David highs on your chest right now. Mm -hmm. And as someone who is a proud New Yorker, you're the whole- You know, when you feel like you're under threat, you cling to things. Yeah. And I think that's probably, I'm the most generous side. He, he, he probably scared for the first time. He was never scared under Trump. Nobody thought like, he didn't honestly think that. It was a way to get fucking views. It was a way to express anger. Like, now all of a sudden he's got this start. I think he's worn it before, right? Yeah. But when you're afraid to lose something, you cling to it. Right. You know. And so I, I, I think it could be. You know, he's got to be putting himself in a bad situation to get work. And he's literally put himself in a position by doing this. I can't believe he doesn't know this. So like be on like a skeptic right YouTube after this. Nobody's gonna hire him. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, does he not know that? Maybe he's a dummy. Maybe, maybe he's a big dummy. Maybe you don't know that. I don't know. You know, that guy Glinner, you don't know this. The guy that went after, um, uh, cause he called Dankula a legitimate Nazi. This guy, uh, did a show over here, uh, called Father Ted, where they did Nazi jokes and stuff, stuff that was 10 times fucking worse than the, the, the um, Dankula's pub. Pug, and he yeah. wanted he tried to get this guy arrested tried to get he tried to get him uh, deplatformed and then he made a crack about a transgender and <laughs> he got a knock on the door by the cops boy he has come around actually glitter and and uh Dankula just take a uh just took a um and he's now he's Can now he's clip completely flipped teams uh you're welcome white people we brought back michael rapaport arab w <laughs> 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 yeah I think they're Christians, though. <laughs> I think. I'm pretty sure. I think, yeah, I bet David's a Christian Muslim. Uh, I think. I don't know. Um, and he's completely turned around. Now he's now he's actively fighting them. He's he's joined the... Uh, here's another example. Uh, the girl that wanted... Uh, Harry, po Harry Potter chick. Who, who, uh, who wrote Harry Potter? Uh, I, I, I never read it. So. I can't remember her name. Um, J.K. Rowling. Okay, J.K. Yeah, Rowling was Rowling. fucking calling everybody racist. They didn't want to let every immigrant into into the United Kingdom, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right. She was open about it. She said she said um, feminism is for women and not transgenders, and that's that was it. That was it for her. Now she's flipped. Mm -hmm. She buries them online too. She's rough, you know. So you know, it's like because because what was under threat? Something that she held dear. So maybe, you know, it, it, it's, sad, it, it's sad to me that people can't see yeah, these Nazis before they, um, until they kind of spread their peacock feathers. You know, I can see the peacock feather before he spreads them. It's a peacock. And it, it, just, it just seems that you, you almost have to feel threatened to flip teams. You know, it's, a, it, it's a very frustrating too. Like, like, take the Mama Max situation in John's. I knew John's was a fucking phony. Because he, he he displayed those signs, you know. I I, I you know yeah I, I I think yeah probably. Uh, 
I'm sure, I don't know if it's to the degree of uh, someone, you know, a member of the SS, but I, yeah, I, th I think that guy, I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if he's capable of terrible things. Yeah. Um, maybe not something to the point, but maybe screwing a, like, screwing somebody. Well, maybe in YouTube, not paying somebody because they know it get away with yeah, Those kind of, those traits, those little traits. I used this example before, like, um, you know, you like, you, 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 you steal a, a chick from her, from her husband. You marry her, and then she cheats on you. Well, now it's a problem. Yeah, like, like the, you, sh you, you took a woman. The woman left her, her husband. Yeah, but she told me he was bad to her. Yeah, well, she can tell you he's good to her. And that's why I'm leaving him. <laughs> like, like the little behavior. Like when you, the way you act on the macro is where you're gonna act on the or the yeah. What do you call that? My, is it where you're gonna act on the, on the, the, the micro? I don't fucking know. I'm not that bright. The little stuff you do is going to determine on how you act in a in a tough spot. Look at look look at um. We all would have know, we all know what a phony um, Elvis the alien is. Look what he does when when he feels a little static. He does he stand up? No, he folds. He throws people in the bus. You wouldn't do that if the situation was more serious. No, he's more likely to do it if it's more serious. More likely. So you, I, I think you, you, people you know, ask me, oh, are you, are you psychic? No. I take the little things they do, and I realize, like, oh, uh, you know, he was just goofing on him, or he was just doing this, or he was just doing that, and it was just a little thing. He wouldn't do it just because he did this little thing doesn't mean he would do this big thing. No, it actually does. It actually does. And, and that's, that's, the, that's the trick. That's the key. Mm hmm most people just tell themselves that it couldn't be that bad. It, it can. It can always get worse. It, 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 it's always that bad. Speaking of the Nazis, and the one thing that I do know and I have learned, you can take this seriously or not. All right, I got to pee. I'll be right back, Tom. Go ahead. This is going to sound horrible, but if you think it won't. The people that got involved in that party, the people that um, did all those horrible things, were regular people. They were. They weren't just a, you know, just some kind of like a bad guy like the Sith. They were regular people. They're your neighbors, your friends, they're your family, right? It wasn't unique to being German. I, I, I'm sure the, what, the Russians have a, a tendency towards communism. No, it's people do bad shit when ideology guides them. They do. They do shitty things to get out of fucking trouble. Like little stuff, little annoyances, then they'll do it if, if, if something really means that. Like, 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 you know somebody doesn't really stand for anything, and uh, he just kind of rides a fence on everything, he doesn't have any principles. But he would never do anything like, uh, I don't know, bolt when, uh, and leave his kid behind if he felt scared. No, he would. <laughs> that, that's the guy, because he's doing it on the macro. That's how I do it. That's the trick. That's it. I've given my secret out. There you go. All right, I'm done. I'm gonna uh, let me um, let me go over some of the donos, and then the pats, and then we'll say uh, good night, good night. I'll go over the uh, what you call it first. I gotta start opening these early. Are we still live? Yeah, we're still live. I'm going to. Uh, uh, I'm going to. I wanted uh, to go ahead. Keep wanted, keep talking. I wanted to talk about. Have you heard about this whole Dan Schneider thing that's happening? Uh, Before you do Nickelodeon? that, see if you can gift a membership. I did something today. I just thought uh, of that. Gift membership? Yeah, see if you can gift it, but go ahead. And then, then go into uh, Dan Schneider. Um, no, I can't do it. I don't think I can do it. You don't think you can do it? Okay. Uh, I don't think so. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. Um, no, what I was saying was um, Dan Schneider. Have you heard of him? Listen, mm. fuckhead. No. No, I haven't. So he produced a lot of, like, of the very well-known Nickelodeon shows. Like, uh, like, like uh, all that, um, the Amanda show. Not my like gen. I don't know any of yeah, those. Yeah, not your gen at yeah. all. But he's basically being accused of being a, a pedo uh, and harboring pedos. <laughs> uh, apparently one of the people, yeah, one of the people who worked, uh, worked with him. Uh, remember Drake and Josh? The Josh, I think it was Drake, Drake Bell. He got accused of being a pedo a few years ago and they made that funny song. No, I'm, I'm completely lost. But anyways, there's this whole fucking documentary series that's been going off on uh, HBO Max that is like, blowing the internet on like blowing up the internet and it seems like dan schneider is a, might be a piece of shit um, and it might be some vindication for drake bell yeah uh 
yeah so like it's been in, kind of interesting to see uh see well, i'll watch your show and find out about it <laughs> no i'm not gonna come no, i'm good dawn breaker drake uh dark viper's reaction scene was mama max is the predators uh, Dark Viper is mentally unstable. Uh, yeah, I would agree with that. That's cheaply. Ghost Gaming made a bunch of donations, and I really, 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 really appreciate Listen, it. Fuckhead. Um, and sent that information to my DMs. Uh, versus now a, a an official fuckhead. Um, but he was always a fuckhead to the bone. Um, let's see. But uh, the, the reason why I was saying is like. Uh... People, I was like, people hate Dan Schneider because he's a pedo. I hate Dan Schneider because he ruined Nickelodeon. <laughs> yeah, so see, I don't get the joke because I don't, I don't yeah. know any Nickelodeon. I watch You Can't Do That in Television. Do you remember Head of the Class? Yeah, I thought it was a terrible show. He was, was the fat guy. Oh, I remember him. Yeah, he, he yeah, had a pretty yeah, yeah. big career in Hollywood, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, he became a fucking showrunner for Nickelodeon, mm. and now he's being accused of being a pedo. Mm. That's nice. Jack B, I'm homesick from work. Finally, catch your show. Thanks so much. Uh, Rooftop Animations. Nerd City's trying to take down my channel because I drew him getting mauled by cats. Help me out, Tommy. Clown send me. <laughs> Trippy Savage. Real hypocrisy is people uh, crying Nazi at the same time trying to other people speech, uh, police other people's behaviors. Uh, you're welcome, white people. We brought back Rappaport, Arab W. Balt, and close enough, still Arab W. Because <laughs> I said it was that. That's it. Uh, Patreon. Um, let's see. Really got to start doing this ahead of time so I can just like fly through it. It's such a such a pain in the arse. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Oatbag, Mexican, Abby Blackburn, Ashley B, Blue Jacket, Cody Grell, um, Everborn, Lashky, Gothboy. Let's say Jack Blondie. Thanks so much. Uh, Little Manly, Nesquik, Paddock Pung, Reynolds Hughes, Tommy C. Scott, Trippy Savage. Who are you, Irish? The Irish. Uh, Picklington, who just donated there, too. Um, and um, I wasn't going to do an after show. Now I feel guilty not to. <laughs> so I'll go in there a little bit if you want to meet me, if you want me to call you a Nazi. How about that? Anything else? Is that it? No, I'm good. I'm All good. Right. Uh, Ghost Gaming, hey, no buddy. luck and gifted members. Now you tried it. Um, yeah, we're going to do something this weekend. I might, you might see something pop up out of nowhere. Uh, apparently, it's not illegal in Germany. Um, it's probably a matter of getting the, the type of account I have or some horse shit uh, like that. Um, the fact that I can't do it is really irritating. But we'll see what we can do. Um, what is, what, what, I think that's it. Have a good, no, good one. Okay, Take care. Buddy. Goodbye. Later. Thanks for